Morning. This is Monday, the 15th of January 2018. And we're going to go to one, well, not there was one, but two least used stations today. The first being Pontefract Bag Hill. Uh, we're starting from Cottingley, as usual. And we're going to get the 8.25 into Leeds to get the 9 o'clock to Nottingley, getting off at Pontefract Monk Hill. I shall then walk over to Pontefract Bag Hill. So, see you there. Right, our train is approaching. It's a 144 and 142 combination. 825 into Leeds. Look at the footnote for what actual train it is. Three car 144 and a 142. So let's get on the other front. We won't be able to do any filming on this one because obviously it's a busy train. Right, this is our next train, the 9 o'clock to Nottingley, and we're taking this as far as Pontefract Monk Hill. We should be there at half nine o'clock for that. Then we shall walk over to Bank Hill. Uh, it's a peak hour train, as you can obviously see, and it's come from Goole. It's the one, one train in the morning, one train in the evening from Goole to Leeds. It's normally, I think, something a bit more substantial than a 144. But uh, on this occasion, It's a 144 on its own. Right, we'll get on at the front so that we're at the... Actually, we'll get on here, actually, I think it is. It's raining again. And we'll sit just here. Right, so I made a slight mistake there. This train hasn't come from uh, Gould, actually. That's 8.16 arrived in Leeds. This uh, is now from the 9 o'clock to Nottingley. And it was uh, just coming from Nottingley. So, uh, my apologies, but we all make mistakes. Right, we're just leaving Leeds, 9 o'clock, spot on time. Virgin service there for King's Cross. Soon off with a 9.15. Cross country coming in. So we're 9.08 to Edinburgh. Little, little Virgin. More comfortable on the end of Virgin. And you can see the signal down there, we have UN, which stands for Up Midland, not Up May. So we're turning first left here now. Not on the viaduct of course, that's been disused for years as that. Leeds Whitehall station used to be on that curve just across there, but that was only ever a temporary station. Pretty handy for that area though. This is the disused viaduct route that we're going to go underneath. Pity about the weather. Can't really see much. Yeah. The old route out to Wakefield and before that other field. Right, we're now leaving Castleford. station just over there where the M symbol is. Right we've crossed over and we're now taking the left turn round to Cutsyke. That's the main line to Leeds and Wakefield, Normanton. been known to pass the odd freight train on here but this is Glass Alton which is a relatively new station check the comments for the opening dates we're just leaving now and our next station is where we're getting off onto Rack Monkill so Glass Alton was built just for the uh, Freeport over there which is a uh, Recommendable. The weather spoke there as well. If you need any food, quite a few foodie places. An escape, of course, the uh, indoor ski slope. Just coming up to the M7 
meeting is this year but uh, if you look online I'm sure you'll find out right we're shortly arriving now into Pontefract Monkill we're on a rather sharp curve to join the main line from Wakefield which is there Line to Wakefield and beyond, and some rather lo scruffy looking disused goods lines there, which could be brought back into use fairly easily, but they haven't yet. Because you could have a layout here similar to Swinton, which you may see later. Swinton, South Yorkshire, that is. Because if they brought the Leeds line in the back there, we could create a platform three at Pontefract Monkill. Be very convenient, that I would think. Let's get over to West Yorkshire's least used station. Let's, let, let's watch the train go first anyway, then we'll walk over the footbridge. It's starting to rain again. Heading for Nottingley. Right, let's walk over to Baghill. Welcome to Pontefract Baghill, West Yorkshire's least used station. Right, there's not a right lot here. That's the approach road over there from the town centre, which is sort of over that way. And so if we have a little walk onto the station, there's not a great deal here, there's a driving test centre, if anyone's taking a driving test. So we're going to York, so we want this, uh, well I say not York actually, it might be York, depending on the weather, if it doesn't stop raining we might stay on and go to York. We are planning to go to Ulleskelf on this train and then walk back to Church Fenton. Right, there was a roof here, canopy over the platform, but it's long since gone. Uh, strike notice, but that's finished now because it's after 12th of January. Ah, there's the timetable. So, uh, as you can see, it's not plentiful. Just two trains a day in each direction. So we're waiting for the first train, the northbound one, which is 10.10. 10.11 10. on a Saturday, so it's a minute or so later on a Saturday. A bit later, a bit later still at York on a Saturday. Yes, anyway. One thing I'll point out about Pontefract, it is a race town, there's a race course which we saw earlier on the train from Leeds. Uh, so you can imagine how busy it would be if there's a race meeting in York and then we had a train back here at say half 11, half 11 o'clock at night, so maybe half 11 straight back from York to Sheffield or even further. Derby, Nottingham, Leicester, something like that. Right, this is the way we're going to go, down this way towards uh, York. Uh, just looking the other way, that goes towards Sheffield, Moorthorpe's the next station. It's a pity about the weather. Right, the one thing that this station does have, which Monkill doesn't have, is disability access. We've got time to just have a look at the other side. Still got about eight or nine minutes before the train's due and it's on time. It's not the easiest of st slopes to get a wheelchair down or whatever, but... It could be done with a bit of assistance. So 
So this will be the up platform, platform two. But as I say, we want the opposite side over there because we're going northwards. Oh, the weather. Right, let's get back to the side. Right, this is the 9.30 Sheffield to York, arriving at Pontefract Bag Hill. I'll do the figures uh, in similar fashion to someone else who does this sort of thing a bit later. 142057. Heading for York. Hey, there's some passengers on it. A few. Let's get in here. And one passenger is getting off. Oh dear. Right, we're just leaving Pontefract Bag Hill now, heading to York. Next station will be Sherburn in Elmont. Ferrybridge Power Station. You can just make that out over there. And here's the A1 and M62, but not in that order. M62 was first, then the A1. Or A1 M, should I say. And now we're coming up to the point where we go underneath the Pontefract Monk Hill to Nottingley line, which is just there. There are connections on both sides. The one on this side was only put in in the mid 60s. So if you look at some maps pre-1965, it's not shown. So that's a single line connection from Monk Hill. And then the line from Nottingham, which is double track, is down there. So this is Ferry Bridge. No station here, there was, but there isn't now. The old A1 is over there. Right, this is the line from Castleford, which comes straight through. There's no physical connection here at Burton Salmon. We just come alongside and run parallel for a mile or so, maybe a mile and a half. Not sure how far exactly, but uh, some distance anyway. Over Hillam Gates Crossing to Milford Junction, then we will switch over to those uh, tracks which are the up and down Normanton lines. Right, the figures for Pontefract Bag Hill for the most recent periods, 2016 to 17, is 6,148 which if you divide that by 365 it is that figure there 16.8438 and so on per day so it's not a right lot we're now coming up to Milford Junction where we will get one of those feathers position 2 which will take us over to the Normanton lines, as if we've come from Castleford then. If we carry straight on here, we shall head round towards Selby. If there's a service that did that, I think it'd be very good. Never say never. Of course, you can do the opposite from Castleford crossing over to this line. Doesn't happen very often, judging by the shine on the track. It's a bit thin. So we're now moving across once and again. And now we're on the down Normanton. Milford Junction box and 
and there's the connection over to the Leeds Hull line towards Selby. We've got a lot of wagons stored here, Milford Junction, stabling point. Wagons on both sides, totting from Drax Power Station, judging by the liveries. Right, this is Church Fence, and now it's the line, the, the, the lead direct line to pick up field across there. Unfortunately, the weather is not playing ball at all, so we're not getting off here on Ulliskelf. We're going to go straight through to York now. Slight change of plan due to the uh, disgusting weather. Oh, it's a transpennine. So this is church fencing and some passengers are getting on. Right, we're just coming into Ulliskelf now. We we're going to get off here and have a walk back to church fencing, but unfortunately, due to the weather, I'm not doing that now. It's just too wet. Ulliskelf. Anyone getting on? Something across there has got the indication D. I don't know what that'll be for. But we'll soon find out, I dare say. It could be a freight train avoiding the station. It is a freight train, I think, is avoiding the station. Virgin service heading for London. That's where don't forget we are actually on the main line, not the not, not the Leeds line. That's the Leeds line where the freight train is. So we're just waiting outside York now for a platform. The original plan was to go for Hollow Scales and walk back to Church Fenton, but unfortunately the weather isn't playing ball at the moment, so we've decided to flag that. going into platform 7. Right, that was the service from Sheffield. It's just arrived in York now. It's got off at York. I think there's about, uh, about a dozen passengers, maybe 12 or 13 or 14 that got off it. Some passengers got on at Church Fenton, Sherburn, Church Fenton and York and Ulliskill. Right, we're on the uh, 11.18 to Preston. Preston Lengths. Doesn't actually differentiate that, but it's Preston Lengths on tickets, so it don't get confused with the other Prestons. There's a Virgin service there in York, and yeah, tea from Costa. Mm. So we should be leaving in about 10 minutes or so, and we're going all the way through to Preston with this train to connect with all the service to Ormskirk. So we're now going from, from West Yorkshire's least used station to Lancashire's least used station, which is Hosker. We're now leaving York and we're heading over eventually to Lancashire's Lease Use Station, Hosker, on the Wigan to Southport line. So we're going via Preston and then taking the Ormskirk train to Bursco Junction, walking to Hosker. And so the weather by then is a bit better than it is now. Actually, it's ironic, I think it actually has stopped raining. signal so we're going up to the Leeds line. And there's the station avoiding lines at the back of that little mound. They run directly from Holgate to Skelton Junction. Good morning, I'm all welcome on board. This is the 1118 Northern Service and we're going to Preston. We're going to Leeds. We're going to Leeds. We're going to Leeds. We're going to Leeds. Preston on the Blackpool line to both north and south 
Um, just have a look on the internet and you'll see what we're talking about there. So there's uh, no service currently between Preston and Blackpool North or South. So we just left York and uh, next up is Church Vent. We're going to have all the scales to Church Vent and all stations to Leeds. After that, then it's a selection of stations to, uh, across to Preston. So let's keep going. We're just coming into Church Fenton now. This one stops here. services to York and platform 5 for Tadcaster and Harrogate was over the far side, long gone. Right, we're now at Leeds, it's 12.05 from here so we're just a, a minute or so late. Plenty of people getting on here, despite us not going to Blackpool. Obviously Leeds, Bradford, Halifax is quite a busy section. Nice colour of pink there for the wall. Green at this side, yellowy green. I think it's further over there, it's blue or purple. Just left Leeds now and the sun has come out. A bit late, but better late than never. That's where we were earlier. Going around the Midland Line towards Castleford and Pontefract Monkill. We're now heading to Bradford, where we shall reverse, similar to Castleford, but of course Bradford is actually a terminus. The track doesn't go any further. There's a divide up right over there. So that divide up usually leads into the old Leeds Central Station, which closed in 1967. So last year was the 50th anniversary of its closure. So now going up the curve from uh, Whitehall Junction to Holbeck Junction where the Wakefield line continues pretty much straight ahead and then we veer right onto the original alignment out of the Central Station to, uh, to Bradford Interchange. Local Doncaster lead stopper there coming in. By the card, obviously, because we're crossing its path otherwise. That's the line towards Wakefield Westgate, Doncaster, King's Cross, and Sheffield by Morthorpe. We're now on the former Great Northern Line to Bradford Interchange. Now I'm at Bradford Interchange. This is another reversal. Uh, the actual interchange bus wise is over there. That was one of the first big bus stations built in West Yorkshire, was that, 1974. And uh, it seems to have disappeared, does Preston from the display, I don't know why. Anyway. Right, Bradford Interchange, so the next one is Halifax, then Hebden Bridge, then we're outside West Yorkshire again on the copy pit line to Lancashire. Just coming up to Milner Road Junction now. Here we are, there's the Wayne House Tower there. Milner Road Box. And now join the main line from Brig House. Next up is Hebden Bridge. Now at Hebden Bridge. Staggered platforms here slightly. You may have heard me mention about red and black currents, which uh, obviously don't exist at the moment with the wrong time of year, but in six months' time, just where the other side of that fence is, you get quite a lot. It was here when it was a Tour de France back in 2014 and it was just crazy, absolutely crazy it was Hebden Bridge when it was that weekend, that the Sunday, the second day. A plethora of, 
plethora of passengers queuing right down over the bridge that was the main road. So I just shut the doors I think now, I'll be leaving very shortly.
approaching Accrington over the big viaduct just east of the station. It's a very slow speed limit over here because Accrington of course was a triangle many years ago with platforms on just two sides of the triangle. That's what we're taking now on the left turn. Station the curve that actually missed out Burnley was uh, just a single track, I think, and not served by a platform. Just here, single lead, and there's a tunnel just as we approach Blackburn. Not crossed over this time, sometimes we cross over and go wrong road through the tunnel, but we're not doing it this time. Obviously, using platform four. a few years ago from the original. Yeah. Swimming at Settle, Stainforth, whatever. Right, we're just pulling into Preston. I think it's platform two we're going on, but it may not be. You see 
with a brunish to the docks very shortly. here now from York. Quite a lot of passengers getting off it. I wonder where the Ormskirk train is going to go from, maybe the other side. Because that was supposed to go from 3C. So we better just check to see whether that's running. If it isn't, we shall have to make alternative arrangements. There's a little bog unit here, a pacer. I wonder if this is going to Wormskirk. Oh no, it's got a cold, 1400. Right, let's check the departure screen and see what's going on. Right, we've just discovered that it is platform one now for Wormskirk. 1407. This is the Virgin service, it's obviously come from London, heading for Edinburgh. Quite a lot of original features at this station, but there's not been, not been a right lot done to it, modernisation-wise of Preston. Anyway, we're not going on this one. We're going to Bursco Junction, which is the Ormskirk train. Oh, let's go down the subway. That'll be easier. We're out now on the 1407 to Ormskirk. We're going as far as Bursco Junction and walking over to Hoska. That's Lancashire's least used station. Right, just leaving Preston now. That's the RES part of the station, which isn't much used these days. Except perhaps for stock storage, might that one five eight over there? Who knows? Could create a platform zero there, I think, couldn't they? And a minus one. Yeah. In that gap there is the uh, what is it line? The line to the docks. Now diverging towards Blackburn and then further right towards Armskirk. Sun's making a bit awkward here. West Coast Main Line over there and the Blackburn Line, which we'll see rise up shortly. That's the Blackburn Line. on the other side but whatever. Thank you. Next. Oh, really? Joints of track there. Not called nodding donkeys for nothing. Right, this is Bursco Junction. The uh, 1407 from Preston is this train here, and uh, 142037 is the traction, the unit for it. Heading to Ormskirk. He's already put Preston back on the display now. Ah, there we go. 
right, let's walk over to Hoska. Shouldn't take very long. Right, we're almost here. I didn't bother videoing the walk much because we haven't got all the battery power left in about 20 minutes. So, uh, here we are. We did that fairly quickly actually, compared to what Google Maps was showing. But uh, that didn't actually take into account the paths we've just walked on. I'll screenshot the uh, view ranger and add it. So here we are, Hoska, Lancashire's least used station. Right, staggered platforms. So this is the Southport platform, which I imagine will be the down platform. And uh, we're going to get on this side because we're going towards Wigan and Manchester. The train is on time, it left Southport a few minutes ago. So let's go onto the platform and uh, see what there's to see on Hoska station. It is Hoska with an H, not Oscar. Oh, the telephone. There's a telephone, and it works. My word. Can't see the number to ring it though, so I can't do uh, what Jeff does. Right, Hoska. Uh, da -da -da. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, about nine trains a day this way, I think. By the looks of things, it's quite a reasonable service considering how few people use it. country station. Right, there's no permit to travel machine, there's no display, so we don't really know whether the train's coming or not, we are looking at real-time trains, which we're going to do right now. Right, I've just done the maths for Hoska. Um, the last figures for this station for 2016-17 is just over a thousand, it's 1024 so if we divide that by 365, I know there's no service on Christmas Day and Boxing Day, but that is the figure we get. It's less than three passengers a day, yet we do actually have a two hourly service near enough. So compared to Pontefract Bag Hill, which is the least, sta least used station in West Yorkshire, uh, only four trains a day, two in each direction, which also runs Sunday as well. Um, I think Pontefract Baghill does far better, which is an average of about 16 passengers a day. Of course, when you get a race meeting on at York, when you get a race meeting on at York, Pontefract Baghill is very busy. Uh, I can only assume that people coming back late have to change up leads and go back to Monkhill, but it is a higher fare to do that, officially. So anyway, what time is it now? It is 15.07, 15.08, so our train is in a matter of four or five minutes away now. So we better make it look as if we mean business and get on it. Perfect timing. We got the yellow light. Right, our train is coming. Walk down a little way. Oh, it's a 150. I think it looks like a 150. Let's zoom in a bit. Yep, it's a 150. This goes to Manchester, Victoria via Atherton. So we'll get on it. We're changing at Salford Crescent now for the Buxton train. And we're going to go back home via Chinley and Sheffield. So, just left Hoska. To the Leisure station. Tick. 
moved on to Salford Crescent on our way home via interesting routes via the Hope Valley and Sheffield. We're going to Stockport next. And this is the um, one we got on at Hosker, Southport to Manchester, Victoria. And oddly enough, it's coming to platform one, which I didn't think was possible, but it is. It's been like that for a while. So it's heading towards Victoria. Is this one US? So it went UB for Piccadilly. Alright, this is our next one now, Buxton 1609, and it's coming in now. Another 150. Got the road already? No, it hasn't. Not quite, not yet. It's just a little bit early. It's another pair of 150s, by the look of it. So take us to Stockport, then jump on the East Midlands service there. Right, we're now at Stockport, and this is our next train, the 1655 to Norwich. We're only going to go one stop with this, just to Chinley. Platform zero at Stockport. Not many stations have a platform zero. Right, this is our last video anyway now, because the battery's just about to go, so we'll make this the last sequence. I'll add the full itinerary for the day at the end, so you know what we've done. <laughs> 